it never happens and it's not going to happen. So, uh, th th let's be honest on that right now. That is not going to happen. But if you're that upset about something that occurred during your games and you've got evidence to show, then email that stuff to helpdesk at typha.com. Because there's nothing I can do about it. And usually sometimes when that stuff happens, people send me videos to me and I haven't received anything. I haven't gotten anything. And if it's something that's that bad, I'm sure it'll be looked into. I'm sure it'll be looked into. There, let me send, let me press send here real quick and get this, get this out of the way. All right, so we took care of that. Back to our regular scheduled programming, 979-353-4421. That's the number to call. As uh, a lot of people uh, thinking that I'm that I'm on something, I'm drinking something, I'm smoking something on some of these picks that I got. Now someone tells me to check my messenger. <laughs> I got so many messages going right now. It's pathetic. How many people have sent me messages just on Facebook alone here? Yeah, I, I, I've got like half a dozen already. Half a dozen right now. You know, there's a lovely thing called a game report that gets sent in um, after every game, after every day. And if that information wasn't on that game report, uh, there's no way that anybody knows about it. No way that anybody knows about it. All right, so back to the predictions. Um, Yvette, no, I don't do score predictions. I just predict wins or losses. I'm not going to go so far as to say, oh, this team's going to lose by this many points or by this score. Um, I'll never do that. <clears throat> and as I explained earlier, at this point in time, at this point in time, I expect all the games to be close. When we get to the quarterfinals, these games should be close. Oh, Dorian, I've had that conversation before. I've had that conversation before. I I've told you organizations. I've told the organizations already. What you need to do when you're near your home games, you need to rope off a section at the corner of the end zone off away from all of the rest of the fans who were just there to enjoy a nice football game and rope that section off and label it parents slash agents. So when you get that parent that's just jawing on the sidelines, yelling at the coach how they don't know how to coach, put my boy in. You be winning this game, you put my boy in right now. Why, why ain't you got my boy a quarterback? He should be a quarterback. We'd be winning this game right now. I've heard it all. That is where they belong, is that little section called parents slash agents. And you don't let them out of that roped area until two minutes left in the fourth quarter. Okay, so let, let me address Yvette Reyes here. Yvette, I gave the prediction. I gave you the answer on the chat box. The San Antonio Junior Barons and the RGB Bulls, Division II Juniors, games going on in Mission, Texas. I picked the RGB Bulls to win. There is no score prediction. 
No score prediction. I don't do score predictions. Very simple. Very easy. All right. Back to the predictions. Here we go. Cedar Ridge High School in Round Rock, Texas. We got, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, six games on tap starting at 10 a.m. First game is a Division I flag game between the Clean Coat Chiefs and the JYSF Venom. This is the rematch of last year's championship game, and it's going on in the, uh, in the quarterfinals. And I am going to take the JYSF Venom. The Venom are on track to try to defend their championship. We'll see if the Chiefs can prove me wrong. But right now, I'm going to go with the JYSF Venom on this. And I think this game will be just as close as, as it was. will be just as close as it was in the championship game. Second game, uh, Division I Tice game, the Colleen Cochise and the Colleen Trojans. This will be another good game, but I'm going with the Chiefs. Yeah, Enrique, so I, I kind of figured you'd say that, Enrique. Wow. Yeah. I, I, JYSF Venom, they, they've got it going on. It's a flag team. They do. Chiefs are just as good. I mean, you guys were in the championship. It was one of the greatest games we've seen in, in flag and championships. It's going to be a great game here in the quarterfinals. Got to go with the defending champs. Got to go with the defending champs. Uh, Division I Tykes, uh, Colleen Cove Chiefs and Colleen Trojans. This is going to be another tight one. This is a crosstown rival. They love to play each other, but I'm going to take the Chiefs. <coughs> Division one flag, Wilco Tigers and the Cypher Ravens. So the Cypher Ravens, I picked last week as a as a huge underdog. Ravens coming in ranked as the number 18 team in Division One flag. They go up against and defeat the Ruthless Wolf Pack, the number two ranked flag team in Division One flag, by a score of 27 to 26 in double overtime. What a game. What a game. Cypher Ravens now get the number 10 ranked Wilco Tigers. And I said it on, uh, when Cypher first came out. In the first week, and I said it last week, and I'm going to say it again. They get so underrated every time. And that is the Cypher Ravens. I'm taking the Ravens over the Tigers. I think the Ravens are on track right now in Division One flag to be one of those sleepers that makes it and shocks everybody. Look for Cypher to get to the semifinals. Division One Juniors, the Colleen Coach Chiefs and the Austin Steelers. Uh, this was a fairly decent game between these two teams, uh, but I think the Colleen Coach Chiefs will win the Division One Junior matchup and head to the semifinals. That game starts at 3 p.m. out there at Round Rock at Cedar Ridge High School. Uh, Division One Junior matchup, two back-to-back -back Division One Junior games. Uh, the Dell Valley Ducks and the San Antonio Junior Mustangs. Dell Valley Ducks. Finally got their game done with the Austin Steelers after a, a bit of a delay. And they take care of the Steelers. 
Now they have the San Antonio Junior Mustangs, who are were uh, the D2 uh, Junior Champions, now moved up to Division One and still managed to make the playoffs. As a matter of fact, uh, they come into the playoffs as the number 10 team. Uh, Del Valley is the number two team coming into the playoffs. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to go with the Junior Mustangs. That Junior Mustangs is better than most people are giving them credit for, even as a, as a, a ranked 10 team. So I'm going to take the uh, San Antonio Junior Mustangs. In Division I rookies is the Capital Area Junior Wranglers and the Ruthless Wolfpack. I think the Capital Area Junior Wranglers move on to the semifinals. They'll win that game. All right, Floresville High School in Floresville, Texas. Six games on tap. Six games on tap. First one at 9 a.m. Division II flag is the Floresville Wildcats and the Texas Storm. And, you know, when you first look at this, you're like, yeah, okay, that, that should be an easy pick. No, it's not. No, it is not. The uh, Texas Storm have surprised everybody. What a win against the number two Wolfpack. Or, correction, the... Um, their Division II flag, but looking at the wrong one. Uh, what a win against the number two Aggies, the Atascosa Aggies. And that is a that is a big, tough team, the Atascosa Aggies. And they beat them 27-7. to Didn't just win the game. They, they beat them. Now they've got the Floresville Wildcats coming in ranked number 10. Storm coming in ranked number 15. Uh, I'm going to take the Texas Storm. I think that in Division II, that's going to be the shocker of the year when it comes to flag. A lot of comments flashing through right now, trying to keep up with them. Uh, to Division II juniors, Texas Spartans and the Irving Ballas. Make no mistake, that is a very good and very talented Texas Spartans team. In Division II juniors, we're going to go with the Spartans over the Ballas. Ballas have got a good team, uh, but they're kind of one-dimensional. they got one good player back there. If you contain him, which I think the, the Spartans have the, uh, the skilled players to do it, I think the Spartans take that game. <clears throat> and I have seen both teams. Uh, Division II flag reel, Honda Bobcats and the Odessa Junior Broncos. Broncos go home. Bobcats will get that. Division II Tykes, Texas Spartans and the Fighting Ducks. I got to go with the Fighting Ducks on that one. And Division II rookies, the Floresville Wildcats and the Atascosa Aggies. Floresville should give them a game, but I think the Aggies pulled this one out. I won't be surprised, though, if the Wildcats were able to win that game. All right, so that's Floresville. Last set of games of the day, Saturday. It's at Wheatley Heights Sports Complex here in San Antonio. First game is a Division I flag game between the Texas Giants and the San Antonio Junior Hurricanes. Texas Giants looking tough, but Hurricanes, I think, just a little too much speed for the Giants to keep up with. I'm going with the Hurricanes. In Division I tights, it's the San Antonio Junior Hurricanes and the Tri-County Titans. Hurricane should get that one. You're welcome, Al Alan Guyton. Glad to give you bullet bulletin board material. It's my goal in life to give you bulletin board material. <laughs> 